Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Manya. If you're new, don't forget to subscribe. So today's video is gonna be get ready with me for a wedding. Wedding guest. So I'm gonna teach you guys how to do your makeup for a wedding. I already did my hair. I'll insert a clip of me in the hair salon. These little braids. It's really cute. I'm really bad with hair and braids. It's like hard. So I just went to the hair salon. But now I'm gonna be doing my makeup. I'm excited. Get on to the video. So the first thing I'm gonna be doing is spraying some rose water all over my face. I love rose water, it's amazing. Next, I'm gonna use some moisturizer. And guys, do not skip this step. Moisturizer is very important, it helps you get perfect base. And of course, spread it down your neck. For primer, I'm gonna be using the Laura Mercier Radiance Primer. This primer is perfect if you want to look dewy. It's my favorite primer ever. So you just need to get a little bit of it and just spread it all over. It's amazing. Next, I'm going to be using the Makeup Revolution Foundation Stick. This is one of my favorite foundations. It stays on for a really long time and it's pretty full coverage. I have a more in-depth video of this foundation, so if you want to check it out, um, check the link in the description. And of course, I'm going to be using my Beauty Blender to blend it out because I feel like it gives the most natural finish. Don't forget to blend it in with your neck, guys. It's very important. And for concealer, I'm going to be using the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer, which I think is a complete dupe for the Shape Tape. Um, you're welcome for the tip. It works really well. It doesn't crease. I love it. I like to apply my concealer under my eyes, on the bridge of my nose, on my cupid's bow, on my chin, and on my forehead. And don't forget to cover any blemishes you may have. And I also like to use it as a base for my eyeshadow. And again, I'm going to blend that out using my beauty blender. Next, I'm going to be using the Benefit Hula Bronzer with my Real Techniques Sculpting Brush. And I'm applying that under my cheekbones, under my jaw, on the temples of my forehead, and under my lip so it gives a fuller appearance, as well as contouring my nose a little bit. And then I'm just going to blend that all out with my brush. Now I'm going to be using my banana setting powder and my beauty blender to bake my face a little bit. I'm basically going to be applying this in the same places as my concealer as well as under my bronzer so it can look more defined. And now we're going to have a little dance party while we wait for this. To settle. I kind of look like a ghost right now but we're gonna take that off in a little bit and then I'm just gonna blend that in using my multitask brush from Real Techniques Now for blush, I'm going to be using this lychee and gold blush, which is honestly one of the prettiest blushes I've ever used. I really recommend it. It's pretty natural, but it's very glowy also. For eyeshadow, I'm going to be using this Nika K eyeshadow palette. So let's get up close and personal for this. Okay, this is too close. Okay, damn, okay. Just focus on the eyes, guys. Focus on the eyes. So first, I'm going to take this light pink color with my Real Techniques Base Shadow Brush and I'm just going to apply this color all over the lid and I'm going to repeat each step on the other eye. Next, I'm going to take this slightly darker pink color with my Real Techniques Dome Shadow Brush and I'm going to focus this color on the outer edge of the eye. 
Now I'm going to use the darkest shade in the palette with my Glamour Dolls brush and I'm going to apply that color only to the outer V of the eye. Now I'm going to use the shimmery white color to highlight the inner corners of my eye. And I'm also going to use it to highlight underneath the brow bone. And now I'm going to take the medium shade again, but this time I'm using it on the lower lid, applying it only to the outer half. Then I'm going to take the darkest shade and just darken up the outer part of the lower lid. Now for my eyebrows, I'm going to be using the NYC Brush on Eyebrow Kit. I'm not really the best at eyebrows, but this really does the job. I basically just use the powder to fill in any sparse parts of my eyebrow. And I'm going to use the Essence Make Me Brow Eyebrow Gel, which is fabulous. You should get it. It's really cheap. And it's very similar to the Benefit one. Now for highlighter, I'm going to be using the Temp2 Liquid Highlighter. I like to apply this under my powder highlighter because it makes it look a lot more glowy. And I like to apply this on the top of my cheekbones, on the tip of my nose, my cupid's bow, my chin, and a little bit on my forehead. Next I'm using my powder highlighter by Nomad and I'm basically applying this in the same places as with the liquid highlighter using my Real Techniques setting brush. And look how glowy we look. Next I'm going to spray a little bit more of my rose water all over my face. And then I'm going to use my beauty blender all over my face. This just helps the powder look better and less cakey. Now for my lips, I'm going to start with this Makeup Forever pencil to line the outside of my lips. I'm also going to fill them in with the pencil and this is going to help our lipstick stay on longer. I almost forgot to put on my false lashes, so I'm gonna go do that really quick and I'll be right back. Okay, here I just applied my false lashes, so let's get back to the rest of the makeup look. Now for lipstick, I'm gonna be using one by NARS and I'm just gonna apply this all over my lips. And I'm not sure of the exact name of the shade. If I find it, I'll just write it down in the description below. But yeah guys, this is basically the completed makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to subscribe and turn on post notifications. If you want to see my dress, just continue watching.